Hi, my name is Nick Burnham and I'm here in Plymouth today on a very unseasonably warm end of February day and we're looking at the new Brig Eagle 10. Now this is the largest of Brig's fleet. It's a really big boat. It's 10 metres long as the name suggests but it's also 3.4 metres wide so there's masses of space on here and you feel it right from the bow because they've squared the bow off and that means you've got seating that goes right up into the bow and in fact there's an electric anchor winch under there as well which is a neat touch and then you've got more seating here or a sunbed and in fact you can infill this as well if you want to. And as we move back down the boat it's pretty conventional for a large rib. So you have a centre console just here, there's twin seats, these have got lift bolsters on them and a really look, well look into the helm position. Um, this one's got a T-top on as well, this is an option uh, but it's something that the UK dealer is, is fitting and you can have this pretty much custom made to end standards but it means you've got a great area to put a, a small bimini on and get a bit of shade if you're in obviously more climate conditions. The other thing to mention while we're back here is the fact that this little door here leads down to a small cabin area. Not a great deal in there, there's a double bed so you can stay overnight, but essentially there's also an electric sea toilet and that's great if you're out all day. It means people have got somewhere to go and use the facilities and that just makes the whole thing a much more comfortable experience. And as we get to the back of the boat, more seating facing each other and you've got a table here which you could also stow in that cabin, it slots away underneath the bed and right at the back of the boat this has got the largest engine option. They come with 300s of standard, a pair of those. This has got twin 350. They're the new Suzuki engine with the Duoprop drives. So we're going to take this boat out and see how they make it perform. So we're just outside of the breakwater from the sound. There's a bit of chop about, but it's certainly not enough to slow this boat down. And those two 350 horsepower outboards are absolutely electric on this boat. You can just tickle the throttle just a little bit. She's planing at about 14 knots, and she's already now doing about 25 knots. And that is just a tickle of throttle. The revs that's about 3,000 RPM, so they are half their maximum breadth, so there's massive left. We can take it up a little bit more, a little bit of trim, suddenly we're past 30 knots. And it's so quiet, that's the thing. You do a very smooth hum from the back of the boat and the sound of the water going past, and that's about it. And that's at 33 knots, 32, 33 knots, it's about 3,800 RPM, so still massive left. Let's give it another burst, a bit more trim, a bit more throttle. Now she's really flying. That's taking us up now. We've got 41 knots there, 42 knots, 4,800 RPM. You can cruise on that. There, that's bang on 42 knots, 4,700 RPM. And that actually is a couple of experience. You feel like you can just sit here and it's, it just feels solid, it feels good. But there's more to come. Straight to full beans for a minute, it is quite rough out here, so I'll keep this free. But that's full throttle. 50 knots, 51, 52, 53. That's about 53 knots there. And in these conditions, it looks like it's going up the mountain lunch from speed. It's a bit light, so it should look around and do a little bit more. But that is a massive amount of power on this boat. You can certainly get away with the 300, but why would you? Because this is just fantastic. That is it, full lock, and that's still gripping, no cavitation, that is just 
going round in about two boat lengths. That's quite remarkable. Yeah, that is a lot. 